Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today's problem is, uh, we know from uh, the problem that purple is dominant to white and actual is dominant to terminal. We crossed two uh, plants and we got offspring uh, as follows. So 6 out of 16 uh, white actual, 2 out of 16 white terminal, 6 out of 16 purple actual and 2 out of 16 purple terminal. So we have to find the genotype of the parents. So how we are going to solve this problem? Let's analyze what we see here. So genotype of the E would be purple, purple and actual, actual. So no way that uh, the progeny of these two parents would show any uh, phenotypic or genotypic uh, variance because as uh, you understand the progeny of such a cross also would have the same genotype and phenotype so we can cross cross out this variant let's now take a close look at this genotype of uh, two parents it looks uh, different from this variant but result would be the same if we would cross uh, one parent who is going to be homozygous dominant for purple with another parent who is going to be homozygous recessive, 100% uh, would be heterozygous for this trait and that means 100% of such a cross would be purple. And according to our problem we have uh, 6 out of 16 white and 2 out of 16 also would be white. Uh, and of course for the second trait actual and uh, terminal also 100% of such a cross would produce a heterozygous genotype which mean dominant phenotype would be actual so uh, phenotype would be the same as in this cross those genotype uh, resulting uh, of such a cross would be heterozygous for both um, genes so we can cross out this variant too and now uh, let's analyze this tree more closely so let's return to our problem we told that we got 6 out of 16 white here 2 out of 16 also we got white so basically we got 6 plus 2 out of 16 this is give us 8 out of 16 or we know that one half or 50 percent are white uh, and uh, another one half uh, or 50 percent is purple so which um, which cross would produce such results if we cross one heterozygous genotype with another heterozygous genotype for this trait, three quarters such um, cross would produce purple. And one quarter would produce white. So we can cross out this variant because expected ratio is different from what we uh, given uh, in our problem. So two variants are left and uh, for example in this variant we also going to get the same uh, the same ratio of uh, purple to white as in answer B. So we can cross this variant too. And now let's check what we see here if we would cross one parent who is going to be heterozygous for this trait with another parent who is going to be homozygous recessive expected ratio of white to purple would be as follows so capital P small p here capital P small p here small p small p small p small p so as you see 50% of the progeny would be phenotypically purple and another 50% of the progeny would be 
phenotypically white. This is exactly what we see here. Let's now check uh, the second trait. Uh, we have uh, 6 out of 16 actual position of the uh, flowers plus uh, we have uh, also uh, 6 out of 16 here uh, actual position of the flowers. So this gives us um, that uh, 3 quarters or 12 out of 16 would be 3 quarters would be uh, actual position of the flowers and another one quarter so uh, let's check out uh, terminal would be 2 out of 16 and also we have terminal here also 2 out of 16 or 4 out of 16 4 out of 16 we can uh, divide by 4 and we are going to get 1 out of 4 uh, that would be terminal and this is going to be terminal position of the flowers so this is going to be a ratio of uh, actual and terminal and of course if we would cross these two genotypes so one heterozygous with another heterozygous genotype in the progeny we can expect ratio of the genotypes and phenotypes as follows so capital A capital A here capital A small a here capital A small a here and small a small a here that uh, give us ratio of three quarters that is going to be actual position and one quarter that is going to be terminal position of the flower so this is our choice and answer D would be the correct answer thank you for your attention this is all for today please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye